Light has been integral since the origins of the universe and the formation of the Earth. The inception and evolution of life has depended on photons from the Sun, with photosynthesis playing a central role. The conversion of light energy into chemical energy through photosynthesis supplies most of the energy necessary for sustaining life on Earth, with an average rate of energy capture on the order of 100 terawatts. Now that's about 10 times the power consumption of human civilization. The efficiency of converting sunlight to stored energy through photosynthesis is a few percent. And we will find this type of efficiency to be a recurring theme in viable applications of photonics. Namely, that it's the efficiency of the underlying light-matter interaction that is important. In moving from light being used for sustenance to light being utilized for observations, science, and the acquisition of knowledge, the collection efficiency of light, first through human vision and then through engineered glass and lenses, became important. Early astronomy led to our understanding that the Earth was not the center of the universe, a foundational moment for science thanks to the development of optics for telescopes. More than for just observations, light became used for functional purposes such as navigation and communication. For example, lighthouses serve both purposes by providing an intense beacon of light to signal their whereabouts and by modulating the beam to communicate their identity and other basic information, an early form of on-off keying. Here again, innovations in engineered materials, this time through the invention of the Fresnel lens, enabled the distance to be increased substantially to over 20 miles, five times farther than with standard reflectors. These lighthouse signals were one of the first implementations of long distance optical communications. It's also interesting to think about how far we've come in terms of energy per bit communicated. If we consider this lighthouse example, with a light on the order of 1000 watts operating at about a hertz, that would result in a kilojoule per bit transmitted. Now let's contrast that with today's high speed optical interconnects which can operate down to 10 picojoules per bit, and even trending toward one picojoule per bit. That's an amazing 14 to 15 orders of magnitude improvement, primarily through innovations in photonic materials.